Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be taking you on a house tour, finally fully furnished, and a huge thank you to Google Nest for sponsoring this video. I'll also be sprinkling in some holiday gifting ideas with some of my favorite things in my house. Come on in. So welcome to the kitchen. This is pretty much the area I spend most of my day in and also where the dogs usually are because they love food and snacks. Whenever I'm eating in here, they'll always be by my side hoping that I drop some food. But also this is where I like hosts. This is where I have my friends come. We usually sit here at this table. This is my chair. I do a lot of my work here. I'll be on my laptop, I'll eat breakfast, my meal's here, and then my friends will sit here, we'll chat, we'll either play board games here or over there. But let me show you more areas in the kitchen. Come on. So over here is my favorite gadget of the house. It is my Google Nest Hub Max, and it's basically my personal assistant. It makes my house feel like a smart house because this does everything that I could need it to do. It plays me music, it gives me some cool recipes, it keeps me in contact with my family. I can just be like, okay Google, call my sister Nicole. Calling Nicole. Hello? Hi. Hey Joe. How are you? Good, how are you, what's going on? Just filming a house tour. Is JJ there? Yeah, he's right here. Jay, hi! Wait! Wait, did he just say Joe? <laughs> okay, I'll call you later. All right, love you. Well, I'll call them later and see how they're doing. I definitely plan on gifting this to my grandma this year for Christmas. I think she would absolutely love something like this, especially something that will help her out in the kitchen and also connect her with my entire family. We have a huge family, so I think she would absolutely love this. So, Grammy, if you're watching, stop. You weren't supposed to see this. Another cool feature is that it will help me with recipes. So I can just be like, okay, Google, give me some Christmas cookie recipes. All right. And now I have some recipes that I can just click on and I can just be in here cooking, listening to some Christmas music and getting into the festive spirit. But let's continue this tour. <laughs> So that brings us into the living room area, which is attached to this very open floor plan, kitchen, living room area. I spend a big majority of my day here, especially at nighttime when I just wanna relax and watch something on the TV. I just love this spot right here. So I like my couch to be super cozy and comfy. So all my pillows are very fluffy and soft. I'm a very chill person when it comes to animals on the couch. I actually prefer it. Moon spends a lot of time up here with me cuddling. So Mooney, come here. Get up here. Yeah. Oh, where are you going? Come here. <laughs> Get over here. Oh, he's a big teddy bear. This is my cuddly little furniture. All right, we're gonna go take an apple brew back. This is where the dogs also spend most of their time, and I like to keep an eye on them while I'm away, like doing some Christmas shopping or when I go out to meet some friends. So I call this the eye of my house. This is my Google Nest Cam, and while I'm out, I can look on my phone and see what they're up to, if they're getting into trouble, and it's my favorite thing because I can also talk to them and tell them to stop getting into trouble and doing the things that they're doing. I like that it's just, you don't notice it unless I point it out to you. It was a super easy install. I like it. So so I will definitely be adding this to my shopping cart for a few people in my life because I feel like everybody could use one of these, but specifically my sister loves security in her house, so I'll be getting her one of these for Christmas for sure. show you to a very cool part of my living room. It's very majestic and magical, so come this way. I absolutely love it over here. It's almost like a little whimsical fairy tale den. I actually don't really ever <laughs> use it, but if I were to use it more often, I would probably read books, but I don't know how to read, so I guess this room is useless. No, this was actually designed by my ex-boyfriend, Daniel. He did an incredible job. Some of my favorite pieces of this room are these cool heads with these nerdy glasses. 
I just think it's really cool, especially with the gold picture frames around it, and I love the moth wallpaper. It just makes me super happy and inspired, and hopefully when I start writing again, I can actually come here and get inspired to do some writing. That's what this room is for. It's gonna be my writing room when I get back to writing. Alrighty, so welcome to the backyard. This is the pool area. It's a little bit dark out right now because of daylight savings time, which I think is the dumbest thing ever, but this pool is rather large. The builder wanted a giant pool back here. Normally, if it was my choice, honestly, I could have gone a little bit smaller than this, but my dream is to have a water slide possibly back there or build something from my balcony down to the pool would be awesome. But yeah, I just like to chill out here, catch some sun. And then over here is a nice lounge area with a fire pit. This is just a nice area to just hang outside and not have to be in the sunlight. But I also have a Google Nest audio back there, which I can play some music. The sound is incredible. And especially with Christmas coming up, this makes a great gift for all music lovers in the family. Can play some Christmas carols and get into the holiday spirit, which is amazing. But yeah, it's super zen out here. I love it. All right, so we're now in my backyard. You're gonna hear a lot of puppies barking right now. This is May, the mother of these 11 puppies you're about to see if you haven't already seen them, which I'm sure you probably have. So let's go take a look at my backyard with the farm I have of 20 billion dogs. All right, May, let's go look at your babies. Okay, so these are the 11 puppies that I've been fostering. They are about to leave their home, so by the time this goes up, they probably already have been adopted. So this is a little flashback to the puppies. They're so sweet and so loving. Let's bring Karen out. She's a little wet. She got a little too excited with her water bowl. Hi, sweet girl. Do you wanna see your mommy? That's your baby. So yeah, my backyard is pretty much turned into a farmyard, which I actually love. This is the foyer, which I actually have an idea that I wish I was able to do in time for this, but I want to do a bunch of cat and dog portraits up there, like fancy ones where they're like in Renaissance attire and have one on each of those squares. Stay tuned for that. You can follow me on Instagram to eventually see that go up. Over here, this is the front living room that I mostly just end up using for working out, actually. But it is a really cute area and I love it. Again, Daniel decorated this amazingly. I absolutely love the fireplace mantle. It's so beautiful. So there's maps of Kyoto, Tokyo, I think Boston, and Los Angeles in this room which are like my favorite places. I don't think there's a London one on there, but I will have to add that because as we know, that's like my favorite place. I do love my British boys. This is one of my absolute favorite chests. I got it at a flea market and it reminds me of something out of Zelda, which is why I absolutely love it. I'm a big fan of treasure chests and all things fantasy, if you couldn't tell. Okay, so the formal dining room has literally just been used, I think, three times. My friends joke, we call it the Thanksgiving room because we literally only come in here for Thanksgiving. This has been the only room really that hasn't been decorated yet. I'm just gonna have a different vibe. I think I wanna go for more of like a British country cozy vibe in here. Stay tuned for that. Alrighty, and now welcome to the primary bedroom. Honestly, this is my dream bedroom. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted a room like this, so finally I have it. So dreams do come true, everybody. Daniel decorated this as well, so if you wanna see how the transformation happened, you can go check it out on his channel. I'm like speechless whenever I come in here because it literally transport me to a very woodland fantasy world, and I'm just very lucky that I get to call this my bedroom. A little fantasy come to life. This chair. I love this chair so much, even though this is probably the second time I've ever sat in it. I think it's so cool. It's made out of driftwood, but everybody who sees it is like, oh, that chair is so cool. And I agree. I think it's a really cool chair, but again, I haven't really gotten much 
use out of it other than it just being a cool piece. One of my favorite things at my bedside stand is this lamp. I think it's so cute. It's a little fox, although it kind of looks like a wolf, so it could be a fox or a wolf. But up top, there's a little butterfly that it's looking up at, which is the topper to the lamp, which I think is a really cute little touch. Just on here, I have some of my crystals, some mushrooms, just very naturey and whimsical vibe as well. I love that there's like some books. Again, I don't know how to read, but they are they look cute, so we just have them there. Some lavender. I love it. Ugh. Okay, so this bed is so comfy and cozy, and it's so hard to get out of bed in the morning, especially if it's cold. And with winter coming up, it's going to be even more cold in the morning. So I'm very lucky because I have a Google Nest thermostat, which makes it super easy for me to just say, Okay, Google, turn the heat up to 74 degrees. All right, setting the heat on the master bedroom to 74 degrees. So I can literally just wait in bed till my heat turns up, till it's nice and toasty in the room, which is amazing. And it's also really cool because the Google Nest thermostat can help save on energy. It can save 10 to 12% on heating and up to 15% on your cooling bill because it will kind of give you suggestions on when to conserve energy and when not to. And I'll also be gifting this to my sister because we both try our best to fight climate change. So the Nest thermostat is the perfect gift for her to start living more sustainably. Hi, I bet you didn't see this one coming unless you saw my empty house tour then you know about this little secret trap door that leads into my closet. So my closet is not really fully where I want it to be. I could make it look a little bit better. It's a little cluttered right now. It's very colorful. It has all my things. It has a whole Thing for my crystals, which I absolutely love, I call it my altar. Basically, I put all my favorite crystals there and I go and I manifest in front of it and I pull crystals if I need to go manifest outside. So I've never revealed my crystals on my channel yet, so this is an exclusive. So come here and let me show you my crystals. I wanna show you my favorite crystal. This is an aquamarine crystal, which is one of my favorite types of crystals. It's beautiful. It reminds me of something that you'd find in the ocean. Oh, it just brings so much happiness to me. I could honestly stare at this for like hours. <sighs> I'm weird. Like, I don't even know why I have this. I was in Italy, in Venice, and <laughs> I just went to one of these shops and you guys know I love fantasy and weird things and like they had these mini books and potion bottles I was like I have to have this so I literally shipped it from Venice to my house and in here they got a little broken in the mail so it's a bit much in there so we just keep that closed but definitely my strangest purchase like why I don't know but it is what it is I also have Sharky B in here, which has been with me pretty much since I moved to LA. I've had this guy. It's a pillow pet. I don't even know if they make pillow pets anymore, do they? He would travel with me all the time. I don't travel with him anymore. Maybe I should take him to England next time I go. Do you want to go to England? He does. Okay. <laughs> My shower is definitely giving me very Joe glass box from you, if you've ever seen that show. My shower is massive. This was not really my choice, but I'm not mad at it. It's also a steam room, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. Get some good use out of it. Even though I only use one side of the shower, whatever. But something I'm not mad at being huge is my bathtub. I love how big the bathtub is. I love taking baths. I have not put any Orbeez or crazy stuff in here, keeping this one in mint condition. So this is the balcony outside my bedroom and I don't really use it often, but I use it to definitely spy on the puppies because I can have a nice view of my backyard and the pool. But when there's no puppies, it can be a very relaxing place. Welcome! <laughs> To the theater. <laughs> so this is literally my cave in the house. I have this big projector screen that I can watch movies, play video games on. It's honestly the best thing ever. I feel very fortunate to have this in my home. I honestly never leave my house because of this. So this is my nerd section. This is where I literally have all my geeky paraphernalia. This is a prop from Escape the Night season four. 
And I have a few other props from uh, Escape the Night. I have the artifact from season one, this from season four. I think that's actually all the props I have out right now. But yeah, it's just a bunch of nerdy things like the mask from Majora's Mask, something from World of Warcraft, my favorite movie of all time, Spirited Away. I love Pokemon. Futurama is one of my favorite, favorite animated TV shows. It's just the best. And then I have my logo, neon sign and then I have my million dollar million dollar my million subscriber plaque that they don't make anymore so it's like an artifact basically here on YouTube to show how long I've been here also have my escape the night board games which I'm very proud about creating my own board game was such an amazing experience and I'm so happy that so many of you guys love the game and play it it's just uh, a real cool thing So this room is actually a maternity ward. <laughs> it doubles as a maternity ward slash guest bedroom. So Daniel also designed this room. If you want to see the transformation again, it's over on his channel. But Lark gave birth in this room and then my newest foster, May, gave birth in this room. I found Sakura! Hi, what were you doing? <laughs> so this is the guest room. Sakura thinks that this is also her room. Oh, it is? Okay. Honestly, it's just a very simple room. This poor plant is like so desperate for sunlight, it's breaking its branches to like, please give me some vitamin D. But I do love that the bed is a canopy bed. I think canopy beds are so pretty. One time Sakura literally jumped up on top of here. Let's see if she'll go up here, go ahead. I was like, girl, how did you get up there? She loves it. Go ahead. See ya. That's the guest room. So if you come through the hallway that I literally just decorated two days ago, I decorated this with Oscar and we're pretty proud of ourselves. But over here is my secret bookshelf door that leads to the place where dreams come true. Behind these books is this magical wonderland. Come on. So this room was actually decorated by Mr. Kate. They came in here. This was the very first room decorated in the entire house. There are so many things in here that I absolutely love. So let's quickly try and go through some of my favorites. Over here, I have this floating ship. And then this elk man. Oh my God, I wanted him for so long. And then finally I was surprised for it on Christmas. And then one of my favorite crystals is down here. It's the coolest thing. It's an amethyst with citrine in the center and it's in the shape of a triangle. It's a very powerful crystal. So you know how I said I don't know how to read? That was a lie. I only know how to read my books. So if you've never read any of my books, they look like this. These are my books available everywhere books are sold so this is something i got in venice italy just a very strange day i was on a weird shopping spree and i just got the weirdest stuff again i had this shipped from italy and just a very weird purchase but i think it's cool this bad boy this is the armageddon clock from season four of escape the night i'm so glad that I was able to keep this because it's such a unique piece. It was fully customized from a regular grandfather clock into this very demonic, creepy looking structure. And I love that I get to keep a piece of Escape the Night legacy here in my favorite room. I actually also film for my gaming channel and I stream on Twitch over here. So this is my gaming setup. I have two monitors, my camera, and I just sit here. My cat usually sits on my lap and I just record some Minecraft or some Grand Theft Auto and uh, have a good old time. So welcome to literally my cat's room. My cat has her own entire room. She is the princess of this house. If you ask her, she owns this entire home. Is it? Is it yours? So this room is going to also get a makeover. Daniel is planning on doing something really cool up here, but I guess it also doubles as a guest bedroom because this 
can be a bed. Okay, bye girl. This is where Sakura has given birth and potentially future other cats will give birth. <laughs> She's like, get out of my room! Dramatic, she's so damn dramatic. She's like, how dare there be other people in my room right now? This is pretty much the cat room. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my house tour. I have to go ship these Google gifts off to my family. Google Nest honestly has the best gifts for everybody on your list. So if you wanna check out any of the products I mentioned in today's video, I will leave a link for each of them down below. But that's it for today. Until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn, bye.